Every thinking person fears nuclear war, and every technological nation plans for it. Everyone knows it's madness, and every country has an excuse. There's a dreary chain of causality. The Germans were working on the bomb at the beginning of World War II, so the Americans had to make one first. If the Americans had one, the Russians had to have one. And then the British, the French, the Chinese, the Indians, the Pakistanis, many nations now collect nuclear weapons. They're easy to make. You can steal fissionable material from nuclear reactors. Nuclear weapons have almost become a home handicraft industry. The conventional bombs of World War II were called blockbusters. Filled with 20 tons of TNT, they could destroy a city block. All the bombs dropped on all the cities of World War II amounted to some two million tons of TNT, two megatons. Coventry and Rotterdam, Dresden and Tokyo, all the death that rained from the skies between 1939 and 1945. A hundred thousand blockbusters, two megatons. Today, two megatons is the equivalent of a single thermonuclear bomb, one bomb with the destructive force of the Second World War. But there are tens of thousands of nuclear weapons. No place on the planet is safe. The energy contained in these weapons, genies of death patiently awaiting the rubbing of the lamps, totals far more than 10,000 megatons, but with the destruction concentrated efficiently, not over six years, but over a few hours. A blockbuster for every family on the planet. A World War II every second for the length of a lazy afternoon.